So we got three baits out. We're trolling through. We got uh, a little popper way back. We got to pump it up to about five, five and a half knots. We got uh, one little diving plug, a rabbola, and then we got one big huge popper that caused like a lot of commotion. Nothing bites that. I won't. Oh my. So we are at the Adamarada Hunts on a beautiful day. Look at that day. I mean, it's gorgeous. It is a beautiful day. I don't get too many of these, man. This is my least We're going to see what we can do. Yeah, we're definitely going to see what we can do. We got the uh, we got the diver out of the uh, rock the rock a lot and it took it in really couldn't handle the uh, speed that we were trying. So now we're gonna kind of toll this around, it kind of resembles a flying fish, and we're hoping that this will do the trick. Elizabeth's got a small fish on. We don't even know what it, it hit, but we didn't even really see it. Anyway, here we go. Oh yeah, that could be a tuna or a bonita. It's tiny, whatever. Can't believe you hit that bigger plug and not the little one. Still got a whole one or you got half a one? Oh, you got a whole one. That looks like a small black fin. Ha! Bring him aboard. We got some sush. Yeah! Wow, we're not going to keep this tiny baby. Oh, well, all right. See how good she is? We're not desperate. <laughs> all right, well, I think he's cute. He is cute. He's and he shall live another day. He shall live another day. Become huge. Well, at least it's fishing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good sign. Hi, right, buddy. Nice. Whoa. Ready? Yep. Released. Oh, he took off. I thought maybe he was dying. No, no, no. They just start shaking and all sorts of stuff happens. That was a good catch. Uh, nice. Bloody blood. Ew. Blood on the boat. And then a freaking giant shark comes up and smashes my hand. Yeah, I think it's, it's a, I think it's another small tuna, but he might be a little bigger than one. Yeah. Definitely not a mine. You can not coming out. Trying to be like a big boy and take some on. Yeah. Oh, it's a skipjack. Oh, it's a skipjack. What do you think now? I don't know. Well, let me tell you this. He's not going to make it. He swallowed this thing. Oh, shit. Well, then I guess we're keeping him. Yeah. Yep, little skipjack. All right, and we happen to have our HMS permit. Highly migratory species permit. Which I understand FWC will check. Nice little skipjack. Yeah. Make it easy. Did. I, I've never seen this before. He literally swallowed this hook. How are we doing on uh, boating? Okay. Good job. High five, man. Hey, baby, we did that one. Well, this is heavier than before. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. Hold on. Tighten it down a little bit. Yeah. A little more. Damn. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, that's a tuna. Okay, you got a good one. It's a not a tuna. It's a tuna. Tuna, but tuna. Fight. Got a good one on. Got a good one. Oh, yeah, 
there. No, they were behind the boat. I just let them jump. Here he comes. I saw a little color. It's another tiny. Tiny one? It took some line. That was crazy. He was fighting at first, man. Nice. These are cute little butterballs. Throwing them back? I think so. Yep. What do you think? I agree. He's not badly hooked. Nope. All right, buddy. Nice. Very nice. Off you go, boy. And a good release. Oh, yeah. And a good release. Hey, high five it. Nice job. All right, that was cool. Having fun. Are yeah. you having fun? Yeah. I'm having fun. Man, I can remember the last time we were out catching. I know. I yeah. gotta, every time you come out, look at this. I just saw a, a, a little weed line here. Hmm, nice. interesting. The, uh, uh, what we call a gaffer. <laughs> Did you, hear that? Did you hear that guy screaming? He's screaming, man. Oh, no. oh no! What happened? Oh no! No! I'm sorry. Wow, man. Man, he was Did he screaming. Cut the line? Maybe it was a maybe it was a barracuda. Damn, he was screaming. Oh yeah, I cut the damn line. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Oh man, he's super teethy. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so probably a cuda. Look at that. Cut it. Just cut it. Is it rough? Mm -hmm. Cut pretty good. It's just rough. Sorry, babe. Oof. Okay. I'm going to say it was a better cuda because. Uh, that makes us feel better. That makes us feel better. No kidding! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's good. Here, on the, on the slow pitch, Jake! Mm. Get it, babe. Right, here we go. Just gonna move this right. I got maybe if you want to move back, I'll grab him. Jig, he's a bloody one, man. Nice. This might be one we have hey, to keep. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Slow pitching, man. You did it. Right. Nice. Here we go. Yeah. On the slow pitch jig. Look at yeah. you. Yeah. I think we're going to keep this one, right? We he's, have to keep him, yeah. He's yeah. a little. He's seen better days. Yeah. He has seen better days. Yeah. Yeah. Put him in there. We'll bleed him out. Yep. <laughs> nice catch. Thanks, baby. Nice catch. It is on. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah, that's going to be a good fish, man. All right. Here's the deal. You've got plenty of line. <laughs> nice, nice, nice fish, babe. Keep it tight. <laughs> Just playing, just like what you're doing. It's beautiful. That rod could take anything. Man, this is a heavy guy. I mean, big can't fish. compare some of the ones earlier today. I don't know what this is going to be, man. This could be a, a, a big, big tuna, or it could be a uh, an amberjack. I mean, I just don't yeah, know. He's just pulling. Ooh. Ooh. Line's still doing okay? Yeah. Jag's doing okay? Okay. Yeah, man. He's just going, man. Not a shark. You getting any line back on it? Right. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh! oh. I'm so upset right now. Sorry, babe. On the slow pitch. See if you got anything left. They might have took everything. I don't know. Yeah. That's why I'm cranking. I know. Man, I'm pissed. Gave myself a permanent bruise. If it's cut, then we know it wasn't a tuna. Could have been a shark. It's cut. Yeah. So, probably shark or big cuda. Not happy. 
Elizabeth, not the happy camera. Uh, now that I'm done crying, we got reset up here. We're on this, uh, we've got this ocean cat. It's 80 grams. Double hooks at the bottom, double hooks at the top. And of course, obviously, the uh, the goofish rod. So, we're going to try it again. We are on. On again, on again. Woo! Too many fish today. Good ones. We need to get one of these. That's it, babe. Go on. Here comes color. Oh, yeah. Gets to go home, huh? Yeah, wow, he's hooked like as if you're gonna use him for bait. All right, buddy. That is bizarre. Like, he's hooked through his nose. All nice. right, very nice. He's a beautiful fish, but we have plenty, yep. and he'll live. Going back, bud. Ready, dude? Oh, nice. Nice, very nice. Very good day. That was Excellent good. day. Yeah, that's good. Excellent day. We got some sushi. We got some action in there. Hey, we got boy. fish. We always get fish when Elizabeth fishes. Always. Hey, so what do you think? What, I mean, what do you think about today? Man, today was great. It's been a long time since I've been on the boat and we got to fish. Like, we've come out several times. You guys never see it unless you follow us on Instagram. Sometimes I'll show us coming out. And then if there's not a video that comes right after, you know we didn't catch anything. <laughs> and, and that happens. You know, yeah. it's funny when you think about it because people see you catching fish. And it's like, oh. Well, they always catch. Those people are amazing. No. <laughs> but it's not true. I mean, we are amazing. But, um, yeah, we don't always catch fish. I, I went out by myself. You'll never see that one. I didn't catch that thing. Yeah. I mean, I caught some bait. Anyway. Yeah, the whole mission for today was to catch something so that we could put a video out. And, yeah, I would say that uh, success. Quality day. So Quality here's the deal. So, so just to recap. So we got them on, again, on a little feather, of yep. course. We got them on the bigger one, which I am really very happy and surprised at. So this tells me that later on in the year, this bigger one picked up. Okay, let's show them the, the I think difference. we got the skipjack on this one too. Look. So yeah, look at the difference. This is the one we the normally two. love, and right. that's a big one. And so the bigger one, same colors, but man, nailed them. This 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 was the home that, run yeah, today. that was the winner today. So that was the winner today, and then not to be outdone, Elizabeth and I decided to do some. Uh, Slow pitch your first time slow pitching? Yeah, my, uh, I've tried slow pitching before, but I don't really think I caught anything on it. Let me go get that rod here. Yeah. So, we could, so here was the rod that Elizabeth was using today. So we got that. We, you've probably seen this before in one of the other videos. We got the Torium 16 HG, and then she was using, what is this one? It's the Ocean Cat. It's an 80 gram. I showed him close up earlier. Yeah, okay. So, and that, and that just flutters down really nice. And then we got it on the Goofish Black. Yeah. And you, uh, you really, had, and you had a monster on. <sighs> Let's not talk about that it. That cut you off. Yeah, I know, I know. That one hurt. But, but man, the rod, it held up. Oh you yeah. You had a blast. 
I had a blast watching it, so it was just uh, it was an excellent day. I mean, it was an excellent day. We ended up throwing back a large majority of the tuna because they were small, yeah. and um, we kept two tuna. Dan's was the biggest by far. We'll just go ahead and say it right now. Um, so we kept two tuna and uh, the skipjack. Now, here's what we'll say about the skipjack. We were talking about this when the camera was off. We ordinarily would have never kept that skipjack because it was so small. Yeah, he's but a small one. he was going to surely die. So. Hmm. Let me just say, that was the first time that I had ever seen a tuna swallow the entire mm -hmm. plug. So he had, and it was the big one. It was the big plug. Oh, I thought it was a small one. No, he had this hook. He had this hook in his gullet, which means that he must have come up at one heck of a speed and came right up and just he just engulfed the whole thing. So that was that was a surprise. And yes, we kept him because. Well, we just didn't have a choice. Yeah, I mean, if he was going to die anyway, we'd rather eat him. He's delicious. Yeah. Um, you know us. We do. We are not believers in killing a fish for no reason. And if we are legally allowed to keep it and it's going to die anyway, we're going to keep it. So. Yeah, and we do have our HMS permit. I think I said that before. Yeah. But that's just important for you guys to know that if you do get a skipjack, you've got to have that permit because if you don't, um, the FWC can fine you for that. So, yeah. yeah, and the way you know it's a skipjack is because it has the lines down the body. We'll yeah. show you a close-up of that. And I think um, those are commercially uh, fished, unlike the black fins. Ah. So, I think I've read that they, they go in your tuna fish cans. Hmm. So, and we, we like those. I mean, we, we really love like those. skipjack. So, when, so good. When we can get them, usually they fall. Usually yeah. Them, so. Anyway, it was a uh, marvelous day. Yeah, We've it got, was great to be back. I've got to say, um, you all might not know this, but Dan knows. I hate the Isla Morada humps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime he wants to come to the humps, I'm like, no. He does great on the humps, but when I come, I feel like we never catch anything at the humps, so I thought today was going to be cursed. I didn't tell you we were coming. Though. You didn't even know we were coming. No, but then whenever it's taking us forever to get here, I'm like, we're going to the stupid humps. <laughs> and I didn't say anything because no, I wasn't going to be that's true. a we brat. Just kept, and finally, here we are. And I was like, okay. But the, today uh, fixed the curse on the humps for me. Yeah. Now, now we won't have an attitude about the humps yeah. in the and you, and you broke, the, I mean, you got your slow pitch first. Yeah. Pitch. That's mm. Very cool, man. Yeah. Very cool. I love that slow pitch chicken. Next time we're going to bring both of Both good fish rods. We got the blue and the black. Yep. We're going to bring them both and just have them on board. I think, I think, I think we will always carry the slow pitches. I might even just mount them so we just have them. Because you never know. That's right. You know? And it's quick and easy. They're light. You know what I mean? You yeah. just, it's not like you got to take a whole bunch of tackle with you. Right. We could be sitting here looking at the machine and all of a sudden a school of fish will come underneath it. All you do is just drop that jig down and just go bink, bink, and yeah. bam. And it feels... It like, feels really good when like they nail it. Solid. Especially because that goo fish black is so light. It's <laughs> such light tackle. When they smash it, you're like, oh my. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. We got to head on home because it's uh, getting late and we're going to lose sunlight. Yeah. And we're gonna get and we'll be we'll be coming in in the dock if we're not careful. Plus yeah. we gotta do some kind of dinner tonight. Too late to uh, I'm not even gonna clean them tonight. We're just gonna no, we'll do ice. the fish tomorrow, but we're gonna do great catch and cook, so yeah, keep we'll watching. Great catch and cook. Yeah. But here's the thing. We really need your help. We need if, if you're watching, just subscribe please, because it doesn't cost you anything and it pumps up our numbers. Yeah. So and then I think that works with the algorithm somehow with YouTube, with blah, YouTube blah, yeah. blah blah blah. So we've been noticing like a lot more views but less subscriptions. So I'm like, what's going on with that? They're watching, but they're not subscribed. So, anyway, help us out with that. We'd appreciate you guys know the deal. Hey, follow, follow us. us. Home. <laughs> Home. Thank you.
out, um, but we wanted to have this before we left. So we're actually kind of dressed and ready to go to work, but we're also going to have some lunch at the same time. So if you take a look at what we made here, we just got our tuna from yesterday. And we made a couple of quick poke balls. I mean, quick. So I had a little rice cooker, made some rice real quick, and then chopped up some of the tuna, put it into two bowls. I have some rice. Elizabeth doesn't want rice. You can make these things any way you want. So we like it with a little bit of avocado. So we chopped up some avocado and threw that in there. Uh, we threw some green onions in there, sprinkled it with some toasted sesame seeds, and then topped it with some ponzu sauce and a little bit of sesame oil. And of course, I always like a little bit of wasabi on the side. And then I also made some nigiri sushi for me. This is one of my favorites. And this is like what we catch. Literally catch and eat. This isn't even any cooking involved, this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Holy smoke. Oh. Too much? Ah. Those are real tears. <laughs> man, that was good. <laughs> Holy man. Okay. The tuna is fantastic. This wasabi is real. Man. Okay. Your face is so red. Listen, and you know me. I mean, I like hot stuff. I can, I can do the heat. This is an absolute killer. Be careful. Be careful with this one. <laughs> All right. So that was good. <laughs> You want to try your Pokeball now? Oh, suppose so. Hmm. Yeah. I think I want to do more. Oh, maybe not. Oh, am I going uh, I'm going to do it like this? Yep. Oh, there's a piece right there. Nice. Mmm. 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 Yeah, you happy? Mm hmm. Nice. Mmm. Sesame oil in there really does the job. So, I'm gonna try it. Alrighty. Nice. Now, you got the skipjack. Oh, really? Yeah, that's your what favorite. What about you? No, I, I got some. Just plenty. I was plenty. ask you. You know, it's amazing. One tuna is a lot of food when you're doing it this way. Look at this, you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright. Mm-hmm. Fresh, delicious. Mm -hmm. It's so good. The uh, the skipjack is where it's at, man. This tuna is great. You picked a perfect avocado. And here's the thing. You saw that Dan toasted the sesame seeds. Toasting them makes a big difference versus just having them in there raw. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Hi, everybody. So there it is. That's how to make poke bowls uh, and sushi because I'm getting better and better at that. Yeah, you really are. I uh, mean, I'm loving that. But I gotta tell you, that wasabi was a killer. That's the wasabi from Publix, just so you know. Woo! Man, You're not messing around with that. <clears throat> anyway, yesterday we had a blast catching those tuna. Uh, we saw some subscribers out there on another boat. They were like, hey, Florida Fishing Couple. So that was pretty cool. Good seeing you guys out there. And uh, yeah. It was I mean, so much fun. It was great to be back on the water mm -hmm. and uh, doing lots of catching. So. Yeah, that was great. Great day. Yeah. Great day, great catch cook. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can't thank you guys enough. Yeah. Uh, we need you to subscribe though, honestly. Uh, we just if you if you if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, just do us a solid. Subscribe to the channel. This way we can pump our numbers up and keep putting out these videos. Um, yeah, we put them out because you guys watch them. If you don't watch them, we are not making Yeah. We would love you guys though. You're the best subscribers ever. We yep. love um, all your comments and uh, really look forward to reading them and answering. We know this one has been a minute to get out uh, a fishing video with both of us in it, but we're back, we're back. and uh, yeah, we had a great time making it. Hope you had a great time watching it. We love you guys, and you know what to do. Yo, bye. Bye. Tuna day. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, oh, so, so, what? Oh my God. We kept two tuna. Dan's was the biggest by far. We'll just go ahead and say it right now. Um, we caught, uh, we kept two tuna and then. Did you hear that? Oh That's my. what she said. Just oh said my. Wow. Help us out with that. We'd appreciate it. And you know the deal.
We're not gonna do it. <laughs> we have to. We have. We're gonna do that at the end. Oh, okay. Because well, we we're gonna do the catching. Don't hook. follow us now. And I'm gonna kill you. Follow us later. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's do, let's let's do it again. That it is that, and then number two, that they need a special HMS permit. We already yeah. said that, dude. Don't tell me what you're aware of, boy. I'm aware. Um, I love these the, as much. I love these. I love these as much as I can love these. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> you saw that Dan toasted the uh, sesame seeds. Couldn't think of that word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm eating. It's really good. You stopped me from eating, so we can do this. So, 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 where do we start as far as this catch and cook? Dude. I mean, <laughs> start off her. Oh my gosh, Dan. <laughs> Just act normal, get this done. Okay. Dan, I see your face in the microwave. <laughs> we saw some subscribers out there, subscribers out there. Um, <laughs> Back up. <laughs> Uh, no, I can't. You always, you always do it. Okay. Okay. Right, My face is like terrible. I'm sorry.